Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 6th, 2020. So today we have Aquamarine, go with the flow. This is asking us to get out of that intellect because the intellect is going to, especially guys, as fall comes, start really paying attention to the weeklies as they come out, okay? Because, and, and I will be doing those probably back-to-back -back readings because they seem to be kind of clumping together the messages at least and I will kind of divide those up. So they're not too much to take all at once. But, um, you know, this fall is going to be very tricky. But rest assured, as it says, go with the flow. Find your peace. Be in touch with your heart. If you are somebody who is getting into your intellect, okay? I believe I was mentioning yesterday, narcissism is the other problem that we have going on in our society. And where does it come from? Pain, trauma, tragedy. Now everybody makes their choices, okay? Especially when you're grown, but, <laughs> but you know, the wiring, that's something that that person has to deal with. And yet, it doesn't mean that we have to take that abuse, okay? So I wanna put that out there, make it very, very clear on that. And I'm warning you about this because this is going to be coming up quite a bit, quite a bit, it might take years. But little by little, we're gonna start realizing how much we have been conditioned. So go with the flow does not necessarily mean that you don't observe or that you don't keep learning or that you don't learn to be resourceful as we come into fall. Remember, you, you've been through quite a bit of training in 2020. So the things to come, you know, it still might have an effect on you emotionally, mentally, that sort of thing. But you, if you've been paying attention to yourself, okay, you've learned how to go with flow. You've learned how to say, okay, you know, so maybe I do have to, you know, back in the spring, I had to spend a lot, like everybody, I had to spend a lot of time at home. So I learned to make the most of it. How can I make this special? I've got the prettiest balcony you've ever seen, okay? <laughs> because I took things that I already had and I repurposed them and I had a blast doing it, okay? So that's just one tiny little example and sure, part of our conditioning is finding where we can jump on people and argue with them. And it can be argued that, you know, people, you know, this is such a serious thing. It was a serious thing. But you're learning to be resourceful. You're learning how, what else is gonna force us to get in touch with our hearts? We won't do it otherwise, right? We'll just keep going along, overthinking things and over planning things and then being unhappy and, uh, you know, allowing that wiring to get cut off and then taking it out on people. And then we take it out on our children. And then they grow up to be just like us. Scared, hateful, wanting to act out. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I feel the need to bring this up. I woke up at 4.44 <laughs> this morning with some book ideas flowing. And so I got up, went outside. It was cold, okay? It was cold and windy. The wind is still picking up outside. And uh, I sat there and for some reason, some things around the French Revolution started to come up. And so I went and I started researching, which is what you do when you're writing and you, <laughs> and you don't know about something, right? You have to go research. And I started looking it up and I was like, whoa, this, just go look up, be, be aware. I mean, there, there's a lot that happened during the French Revolution, but if you go and watch any documentary on it, I started to feel a pull in my gut. And I would certainly hope there's nothing to come that is on that level but it's a perfect example of, you know, pay attention to what drives people, what makes them feel justified in violent actions. Okay, now I'm not saying we're having like a, a revel. I don't know. I mean, I just, <laughs> we can get into that in the weeklies, but <laughs> back to this card. I think, you know, I brought that up because I feel like that is something we're, we're repeating history just a tad bit here, a little bit potentially, unless we change our energies. So let me, let me tell you what I'm really getting at here. Let's bottom line this. So if we keep going down that road of victimhood, poor me, poor me, oh my God, I can't be home alone anymore. Oh my God, you know, because in the beginning, the people who tend to feed off of others, they, <laughs> they really were not doing well. Um, and, you know, we start going down that road, the more we're going to get, we're going to fall apart the more we're gonna fall apart. And the more you fall apart, the more justified you feel in acting out. That's not where we're supposed to be going. 
So find your inner peace. How can you tune in and start getting yourself into a healthier place and not necessarily wait on externals to dictate whether you're going to be happy or not? Nothing else would ever get us in touch with ourselves as much as a time like this because it's really making you stop and have to evaluate self. And those who are disconnected from their empathy, I'm hearing uprising. There will be an uprising of those types of people. Uh, and they'll self-destruct, essentially. Now, empaths out there are gonna go, oh no, we have to save them. And I'm hearing they've been warned. They've been given their messages and they've tuned them out. So I feel like there's a big message coming through here. Eventually we have to step back and let them take accountability for who they are, for the choices that they've made. You cannot save people. You cannot save people. You can offer, you can live as, a, as an example. You can offer guidance if it's asked for, but you can no longer allow yourselves to be drained. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you love and take care. Bye-bye.